Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's check about how to manage the price list in point of sale. Many organizations are known for their diverse price list. Several types of price variations are used such as reward at the end of the year, bonuses, discounts on the terms and conditions over time, seasonal sale and periodic cost reductions and so on. To help a pricing strategy optimize to your market, Odoo has a powerful Price list feature. A price list is a descriptive list of product price or pricing rules that Odo is searching to decide the price recommended. To use certain price, you should set several criteria, deadline, minimum quantity sold. So let's get into the module. Under configuration settings, we have to set the pricing rules. So we have a section called pricing. Here we can set the uh, pricing so you need to enable flex flexible price list in order to set the pricing so if you enable the flexible price list we you can set multiple prices per product automate discounts and so on so odo provides two choices to set the price list that is multiple prices per product and advanced price rules that is you can set discounts and formulas so let me generate different uh, price rules uh, for that first we need to save these uh, changes in the settings so once you enable this feature you can see price list will be available under the product tab so here you can manage the price list directly uh, from the product tab or you can also manage the price list from the settings uh, of point of sale module so let me manage uh, the price list here we can see a price list which is already created by Odoo with its price list name, currency, company. And you can also use the sorting functionalities such as filters, group by and if you want to set this price list into favorite, you can do so. Currently, this price list is in its list view and that is the default view of price list and you can also get the view in Kanban. Now you can create a new price list. So here you can give the name of uh, the product, I mean a uh, price list. So let me set it as USD uh, retailer. So here you can see that uh, the currency is automatically configured. Now, if you want to set this uh, company for this price list, then you can set that. If you set this field as null, then this price list can be used for any of the company that are in the database. So let me set the pricing rule. So here we can set the pricing rule. Here you can set the product. So search for the products. So let me choose cabinet with door. And if it has any variance, you can include that. And you can also set the uh, minimum quantity and uh, price for this. So let me set it as the minimum quantity to and here you can set the price as 200 and if you want to set any validity for this you can uh, set so uh, so that after this uh, period this price list cannot be used. So we have created a price list. Now let me go to the settings and here we can add multiple prices per product. So uh, for a single product we can add multiple prices. So first actually we are creating that. So let me add different prices for the same product. For three quantity, I'm setting the price as 350. Okay, so I have uh, created a price list for a simple product with multiple prices. Now let me create um, another price list by setting discounts and formulas. So for that, just get uh, into the advanced price rules in the settings. Now let me uh, save that.
Now let's manage the price list. So here we can uh, give the name as discount and uh, let me set the computation method as uh, discount. So uh, in case of advanced price rules, we have three types of computation that is discounts, fixed price and formula. So let me set it as discount and here you can set the discount and you are applying discount for all products. So if you want to restrict for a particular category or product or uh, product variant or products, you can set that uh, on the conditions. And here we can set also minimum quantity. So let me set the minimum quantity as zero. And uh, here we can also set the validity period so that after this period, this price rule is not valid. Now let me save and close this. Now let me create a uh, another price rule so you can save this after that let me create a new price rule that is you can set the rules so you can set the computation as fixed price and here let me set the fixed price as a uh, hundred and applying for all products and let me save the condition so we have uh, created a rule and here you can also set uh, the quantity over here so i'm letting the quantity to be one and if you want to set the validity you can set that after that let me save the price list and let me generate another price list that is for formula now you can set the price rules so you can set the price rules as formula so here we can set different price rules that is based on uh, sales price, discount and extra fees, everything. So we are providing based on sales price. And here if you want to set any discounts, then you can set that. Uh, so I'm giving uh, 10 as a discount. And if you want to set any extra fees here, you can set that. So I'm setting uh, 5 as the extra fee and applying this for, uh, yeah. Uh, all products and letting uh, the quantity to be one and let me save this so we have created a different price list now we need to set this price list in the uh, settings of point of sale so just go to the configuration settings under that uh, as we have discussed we have a section uh, called pricing under that we have enabled the feature flexible price list so as you have enabled the flexible price list, you can see there are two fields that are available. That is uh, default price list and available price list. So if you want to make available the created price list in your point of sale, you need to set that price list in available field. So let me uh, add the price list that I want to get in the point of sale. So the generated uh, price list I need to be available in my POS so I have added every uh, yeah price list in that field and you have to set one of the price list as the default price list so I'm uh, setting the default price list as public price list so whenever you get into the point of sale this price list will be set as default now you can save the changes And let's back to the dashboard in order to open the session. So you click on new session so that the point of sale will be opening. Now we need to set the opening cash control, which means the, that whenever you open your shop, there will be a certain uh, amount uh, that left in your shop. So I have set the opening balance and you can click on open session to open that. Now let me click on the home icon so that I can view all the uh, products. So when you get into the point of sale, you can see that here this shows the default price list. And when you click on uh, the price list, you can select different price lists. So we have an option to select multiple price list. So let me choose uh, Aquastic Block Screen uh, as the product. So here as the default price list uh, is public price list, uh, the price is accordingly set. Now let me set uh, the price list according to fixed price. So as I have set uh, the 
price list as fixed price here you can see that we have given a rule to apply the fixed price on all products so uh, currently the uh, price is applied in uh, according to the rule that we have set so here you can see that the all the available products in this point of sale will have the price as 100 as you choose the uh, price list as fixed price now let me change uh, the uh, price list as a uh, discount so here you can see that now 10 percentage as applied for all products so uh, we have changed the price uh, i mean uh, price list as uh, 10 percentage discount uh, so that is applied so here you can see the change so let me choose public price list as a price list so here you can see that actually uh, the actual price of the product uh, are shown here so uh, in the card you can see uh, we have one product that is uh, uh, that cost 295 so when I set the price list into discount here you can see 10 percentage discount is applied and uh, the detected uh, discount after the after that amount is shown over shown over here now let me change uh, the price list as uh yeah uh fixed priced uh fixed price so as i have said fixed price sorry not fixed price let me choose formula as the uh formula as the uh, uh pricing rule here we can see that we have set a rule uh that is we will be providing 10 percentage of discount and we will be applying five uh, as the extra charge so let's see the calculation see the actual cost of the product equested block screen is 295 and we have set a formula accordingly providing 10 percentage of discount and uh, we need to apply that 10 percentage of discount so you can apply that so here you can see that 10 percentage of discount is 29.5 and we need to subtract this because 10 percentage of discount amount is shown here so we will be providing a 10 percentage of discount so you can subtract it from the sales price because we are provided uh, the formula based on sales price so you can uh, set that so you will get an amount here now we have applied a 5 uh, usd as the extra fee so you need to add 5 rupee I mean five dollar along with this so you will get the amount as 270.5 and you can see the uh, change over here so this uh, is how the uh, price list according to formula works now we have one more price list to discuss about us the usd retailer which means that we will be setting multiple prices for a single product so let me choose that product so we have set the product as cabinet with door so let me remove uh, this product from the cart and let me set the product as cabinet with door you can set the lotto serial number here in order to choose the product so here you can see that the actual price of the product is 140 now we have set uh, two rules in that so if i set the product quantity as two you can see that the price is changed into 200 so in this case for each quantity the price will be considered as 200 so here you can see the total quantity so the total will be 400 and let's see what happens if it's three quantity if it's three quantity one yeah here let me remove the quantity first if it's three quantity here you can see that uh, one quantity will have the cost of 350 uh, and uh, you need to multiply it with 3 so uh, 3 into 350 would be 1050 uh, will be the price so let's change the quantity again and let's set it as 4 so if it's 4 you can see uh, then also that price will be applied then let's see what happens if it's 5 then uh, it will be 350 again let me remove the quantity and let's see what happened so here uh, from this we understood that if it's three and above 
the price rule will be applied accordingly and uh, we have only given two rules and that for two quantities uh, each of the uh, product i mean each single quantity of cabinet with door will have a price of 200 if it's one quantity the product will be selling for its uh, yeah actual sales price if it's three then uh, each of the product will be having 350 and uh, above uh, beyond that rule the price will be applying according to the price rule that we have set so this is how odo point of sale manage uh, price list so hope this concept is clear for you thank you for watching the video